What's going on guys, my name is Zen and I bring you another Gears of War 4 video. Now, we're not actually going to have gameplay in this video. This is actually all referring to the news that recently dropped today from the Coalition. If you haven't logged into Gears of War yet today, you... If you do, <laughs> you will notice all of your ranks are reset back to zero. You got to do your placement matches again, but it's for a good reason. They've moved on to Season 1 and they've added a bunch of new rewards that actually are worth grinding for Diamond. You actually have a reason to grind for it now, so it's pretty exciting. Now... They did also change, I'm going to go through these notes here in a second, they did change the algorithm. They actually changed how matchmaking works, so you may end up a little lower than you used to be, but you may also end up a little higher than you used to be. So let's anyway, let's get into it. One of the things they did add were the rewards. They added a diamond skin for every weapon in the game, but they're going to rotate. Now this is something a little odd that I thought was a little different, but... Individual playlists will have the ability to have a specific diamond skin or gold or onyx. Right now, they only have gold, onyx, and diamond, I believe. But they're going to add silver and bronze in there. And if you say you hit onyx, then you're going to unlock the onyx skin and everything down below. Same thing with diamond. You'll unlock all the skins for the tier. It only makes sense that way. Unlock them all. But for Team Deathmatch, you're going to get the Lancer. King of the Hill, you'll get Overkill. Dodgeball, you'll get the Drop Shot. Guardian, you'll get the Bulltalk. Arms Race, you'll get the Marksa. Warzone, you'll get the boom shot. Now, probably the two of the ones that are going to be making the competitive playlist so much more competitive is Escalation will give you the Nasher and Execution will give you the long shot. Now, again, I just mentioned about how they changed the algorithms around to kind of adjust how players um, kind of get their ranks and like in their tiers, I guess you would say. And they just kind of mentioned that that they made some changes, so expect to kind of vary a little bit left or right. But hopefully, this I'm hoping this alleviates the issue of. Literally, it felt like 80% of the Gears of War community was stuck in silver and never moved, ever. Um, they also go on to discuss the website ranked stats uh, webpage that they were talking about bringing to the game. Now, unfortunately, yeah, it's not going to be in the game. You're going to have to go on your computer or phone, tablet, whatever device you have, and go to the website to actually see your stats. But it will give you a very good breakdown of what's to come. So it'll show you how close you are to the next tier, which is probably the thing everybody's waited for. I was stuck. I've gotten my diamond in King of the Hill four or five times. I was really nervous that if I didn't have it by the end of the, se the season, I wouldn't get my diamond reward, which actually, that's the other thing I forgot to mention. If whatever division you hit the highest in, so if you got a diamond, you don't actually get any skins for season zero, but you will get an emblem tied to the rank. So well, luckily, I'm going to get my diamond emblem. So I think that's kind of cool at least. Um... But it will show you, if you look here, it'll show you how close you are to progressing. Now, they don't actually go into full detail to discuss what actually, at least not yet, what gets you to your next tier, I guess the best way to say it. Now, they do show in the image here that your win percent and they show your KD ratio. And then right below that, it says pro progress to next tier. So that may be a clear indication of what it is. But I honestly feel that's a little bit not fair in the sense of the objective game modes. You know, TDM, Execution, Warzone, that plays a big factor, win percent and KD. But when you're playing King of the Hill or Escalation, there's a lot of effort from your side if you were playing like you're the guy that goes for the objective always every single game. So if you're capping that hill in King of the Hill, you might be dying a lot because you're not the one, you're the one that's not afraid to push up. You're getting a lot of deaths, so your KD would drop. So wouldn't that negatively affect your rank? Although you're the person that basically could have, you know, won the outcome of the game for your team. I don't know. They haven't really broken it down yet. Hopefully they go into more detail, but until then, we don't really know. I know it probably does play heavily focus on win percent and maybe slightly on KD. It makes more sense. I don't think I don't think it should play a big factor with your KD because otherwise you'd have people just going for kills and not really worrying about it. But either way, um, let's see. They talk a little more about it. They did originally show it in the image. Of, it looks like they changed it. Uh, it was showing the Diamond 1 rank, and that was technically just a placeholder, and I guess they may have updated that or changed it unless I missed it in a previous image. No, it looks like they actually removed it. But anyway, that's all the news. You're back to placement matches. You've got rewards to grind for. It's a three-month period. Oh, and one other thing. A lot of people would hit their Diamond rank, and they would just stop playing in the playlist. They don't want to lose that Diamond. You're like, I just sit here, and I don't have to play on it, and I'll lose it. Well, guess what? Now... Once you hit diamond for a tier, the system, the servers will store that information. So as long as you hit diamond in a playlist, you can continue playing and lose it. You're still going to get the diamond skin for that playlist. And I think that's the best thing. 
because now people won't be afraid to play on their diamonds and lose them. I mean, there's a lot of people that are really good that don't care to do it anyway because they're going to get it back. Like, I, I played on my diamond. I don't mind to lose it. But now it's a good thing knowing that if the season ends and you're lower than diamond, you'll still get your reward. You hit diamond. You got that achievement. It's good to go. Anyway, that's really all they kind of break down. Just the changes with versus algorithm. Season one is up. Skins that you'll be unlocking. The emblem should come. I think they said in a couple weeks. I don't remember what they said. But I'll leave a link in the description down below to this full article so you can read more about it in depth to everything the coalition says. Anyway, my name is Zenonite, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.